What's up everyone? Good afternoon. This is Mr. Great 2002 back again with, you guessed it, yet another video. In today's video, we're actually talking about making your current Apple AirPod case wireless. How you say? How is this possible? Well, actually, it turns out it's very possible and with extremely dirt cheap components and parts to do it. It's a DIY and here I'll show you some pictures of exactly what I did and how I did it. So, on we go with the video. This modification starts out by purchasing a silicone case of any color of your choosing for your Apple AirPods case. Followed by a wireless charging receiver. Any make or model will do as long as it's made for Apple iPhones. The links to purchase these items will be done in the description. The only tools needed really is a pair of scissors and some scotch tape. The first step is to take your wireless charging receiver and cut it open, making sure to be cutting around the edges to not damage both the chip inside the actual charging receiver package and also the coil that goes in the middle of it basically just cut around it and you'll see that the sides of the packaging are just glued together so you have to probably get like a set of tweezers or something like it to pry open the packaging from the glue itself after you're all done opening up the package and cutting it away somewhat you'll end up a lot like how this picture looks like as you can see, I left the coil all intact and I also didn't cut any packaging at all from the lightning cable itself and also from the computer chip on the actual uh, receiver part. I just left those the way they are. There's no need to cut anything basically down there. So once you're all done that first part, now next is to unwrap the coil a little bit. Be careful, don't break the uh, coil copper wire. Otherwise, the whole part will be just garbage. The whole uh, receiver will be just garbage. You're gonna have to get another one. So be very careful don't, not to damage the, uh, the copper wire. And more importantly, don't damage the uh, connection from the copper wire to the computer chip on the receiver. So unwrap it exactly like I have it in this picture, pretty much. So once that's all done, the next step is in fact the second last one. All you gotta do now is just take the uh, whole receiver part and wrap it around the Apple AirPod case. Plug in the lightning connector at the bottom of the case, have the microchip at the back of the Apple AirPod case and wrap the coil around the corner and put it on the front of the upper airport case, exactly like I have in the picture. And then take some scotch tape and just tape around where the parts are to make it look like how I have it in these pictures. Here it is from the back. And the final step is just to install the newly acquired silicone case for the Apple AirPod case. It could be any type of silicone case in any color, it doesn't matter. It could be like one of those super ultra protection ones that are very good for dropping. Or one just like mine, which was just a cheap $1 or $2 one off of eBay. Well guys, here's the moment of truth. Does this thing actually charge or not? Wow, it charges up just fine. Excellent and successfully charged does it ever do oh my goodness just look at it it's already at a hundred percent this is mr 2 signing out take care have a good day